Please don't move and look straight ahead. I promise you won't feel a thing. It's a go for molecular reduction. Spacer is primed. Where you are going, all your worries will seem so small. That nightmare was crazy. Like watching a movie. Uh -huh. Spacer? Ominent? I know adults have nightmares about work, but I don't think their kids are supposed to. I have to tell Burgle about this. Body mass readout is an acceptable range. The skin fold degradation is minimal. Specimen vitals are stable and holding. Looks like we've done it. Great job, everyone. Let's set up three more trials for replication. Uh, sorry to crash your party. The Defense Department has arrived early to discuss Project Orc. The director needs you to be present at the meeting. Not sure what's worse, our director or a three-hour meeting with the military. Ugh, not another crazy dream. What the heck? They were experimenting on me. And they're working on something called Project Orc? Cool name. Dr. Schmechter, these kids... Director. Uh, Director Schmechter. These specimens are the breakthrough we've been looking for, just like you predicted. We're close to eliminating the raisining problem. Our team was up all night recalibrating the spacer. I see. Of course, my hypothesis was correct. I hope all of you remember this moment the next time you question my methods. Now then, what progress has been made on covalent space expansion? How did Dr. Wendell Tully, a lifetime failure, best the brightest minds at Ominent? Yes, sir. Uh, we're still working on that formula. I know it's been months, but the Embiggen process is far more complicated and dangerous than we predicted. Ugh. Too bad for you, little ones. Prepare the specimens for termination. <sighs> this isn't what I signed up for. Director Schmechter? <laughs> Come on, Dream. If I ever see that dude again, I'm gonna make him eat all the gross stuff I've had to choke down here. And raisining? Damn, his yard food is worse than pizza for causing nightmares. Burgle, my robot dude, I hope you know what's going on. All right, here they are. All tucked in with the outfits and backpacks they were snatched in. As requested. They're strapped and synced with scabbies for whatever they might run into down there. You do realize the director will have our heads if he finds out we're removing company property? Can you sleep at night with what this company is doing? We need to do something. Is Dr. Tully even alive? The field team reported him missing months ago. You are prolonging the inevitable. Wendell, wherever he is, is the only hope for these kids. I'll make the delivery to his yard discreetly. No one is even going to know. I hope you know what you're doing. Wow. Thank you, Mrs. Ominent Scientist. If you hadn't saved me, I'd have been stopped by Schmetta for sure. I wonder if she knows Mom.
And with a flash, that was the end of the tiny adventure of a lifetime. At least that's what the local papers call it. It's hard to believe how much has happened since then. There were reporters, investigators, even the FBI got involved. They tried to keep a lid on all of it, but the whole story came out about the kidnappings, about the dead teenagers, about Armin. Turns out, everyone did learn the name of director Dalton Schmechter, just like he always wanted. But when the dust settled, the weirdest thing happened. People learned the truth about the shrinking technology and about me. It felt good to get the recognition that I had always wanted for all my life. Pete, Willow, Max, and Hoops tried to go back to being normal teenagers. Burgle has joined the kids' new science and robotics club. He's the mascot. I'm expecting big things from all of you. Life's getting back to normal around here. It's funny that the world can still seem so small. And no, I haven't come up with my next big invention. And I don't mind one bit either. Because when it comes down to it, all that really matters is that we make the most of the time that we have together.